Hi, I'm Kenny Ravelay and we're at TPG right on Airline Drive in New Orleans and we're going to talk about fall color today. It's beautiful. This morning when I woke up it was 61 degrees and people are talking about what am I going to change my color out and what's going to last. Well, I'll tell you the biggest color you can change out right now is petunias. And of course, as you see all these beautiful petunias and all these colors, I mean, we have about 120 different colors in petunias. So you could change out petunias in different colors or you could go with one color. I always say in front of your house, go with one or three colors and don't use the same palette and don't mix them up all the different colors. From the street, you really can't notice if you have 10 colors in front of your house, but if you have one or three, you're doing a good job. I do want to point out a petunia that a lot of people don't know is a cascading petunia. A lot of um, pots that we use on the outskirts, we use a cascading petunia. So this is like an upright and this is growing up. You see how it's growing uh, straight up and then it, it does eventually kind of fall over. But this actually does cascade out of the pot really, really nice. So if you're doing some pots, this is a great plant to choose from. I'm going to show you some more. Come on. Oh wow, look what we just got in here. This is tricolored ginger. Talk about needing a spot of color and you need some like a wow in a spot and you have a spot in your garden that just needs um, some color. Look how pretty those are. Look, look at the foliage. Red on the, uh, the outside of the back of the leaves and look how pretty the, the front of the leaves are. What a great color. Great movement in your garden too. So you just have a spot and you want to put some color in a pot or in the, in the garden. Hey, this is a nice plant right now. Now here is just a fall traditional mum. Great color, brings a whole bunch of color. Only problem, they don't last that long. So if you're doing something by the front door, if you want a big pop of color, you could go ahead and use a fall mum. It's great, but it's not gonna last all fall. All right, you need a little height in your garden or in your pots, snapdragons are beautiful. Again, you have about 36 colors of snapdragons. They bloom really, really pretty. Now the secret is, once this bloom dies off, go ahead and just pinch this back or cut this back and this will rebloom again. You need to do that so you don't have those ugly blooms, but they'll keep on blooming. Talking about cascades, cascading snapdragon. A lot of people don't think they have cascading snapdragons. This is beautiful. Here's your uprights and then here's your cascading coming out of that pot or that, or that uh, fallen garden. Looks beautiful. Now, everybody at the house should have a small herb garden. Now, you can make it large, but you know, this is the time to plant herbs here in New Orleans because the weather is so great. You only need at least three to four to five hours of sun. You don't need all day sun, you know. And but instead of going to the grocery and buying basil, have fresh basil. You know, look at look at this mint. Mint is great. Iced tea, you know, drinks have just one little leaf in it. It is the most powerful thing. Instead of buying dry herbs here, let me show you this lettuce. Great lettuce. You plant lettuce. You can go ahead and trim it. The great thing is making a salad. You trim as you need. Um, so you don't need a lot of space. I have this little herb garden I wanted to show you. This is a 12 inch herb garden. So I'm saying you don't really need a lot of room, but oregano, thyme, basil, you know, shallots, you, you know, have an herb garden and, and have fun with it. And it's all you need is a little kitchen scissors, trim as, as you need. And I tell you, you'll love having that. Now here we are with some beautiful pansies. Boy, you know, pansies planting this time of year, they will last all the way until April, sometimes even May. So you can get some really good mileage off of this. Pansies could take some really cold weather. The last couple of winters in New Orleans, we've been having some nice cold weather. So this is definitely a long mileage plant here. And I want to go ahead and show you the violas. It's in the pansy family, but they're much, much smaller blooms. Really, really nice. I suggest these more in courtyards and pots and don't put these in the front yard. Um, but go ahead and use the large pansies for your front yard so you can get that pop of color from the street. So when, when you're driving by, you can really see the color. Look how pretty these are. Talk about a pop of color. Cyclamen is great. Around the front door, in, in the garden. The only problem is they don't like to be watered and wet all the time. So you need to water them, let them go dry, but they'll bloom. As long as we have this beautiful weather, they'll bloom like this. And they come in vibrant, vibrant colors. Look at this white even. That's just a stark, stark white. And they'll bloom the whole fall season, all the way until it gets really warm, probably about April. This is a great plant. Also, just beautiful colors in different sizes. You, you can buy them in six inch and four inch. Cyclamen, a great way to go. Thanks for taking a fall tour at TPG with us this morning. We're open from nine to five, seven days a week, right on Airline Drive. Come out and see us. 
but we'd love to help you out and plan that garden that you always wanted and make it look just beautiful for the season.